Hey y'all, welcome back to the studio. I'm Aramis Hamer, a large scale acrylic artist who is inspired by black girl magic, hip hop, and all things astrology. Welcome back to my studio. Today, we are creating some magic, y'all. This is my favorite part of the creation process, which is the details. This is the time when we go in, we start adding all those little intricate components of the piece that really makes it pop and really makes people come in and take a closer look and be like, damn, okay, she really did her thing. She has all these little details in there. So we're doing her hair, we're doing her nails, we're adding pattern to the fabric that the Scorpio was holding. I'm super excited today to show you the process. In addition to work on the Scorpio painting I'm also going to be adding some more layers to the background for Sagittarius so I love working on multiple paintings at a time it just keep it keeps me inspired it keeps me going you know like nobody wants to just work on one piece at a time I know for me personally I get kind of bored so I need to hop back and forth from piece to piece so while I'm working on Scorpio I'm also going to be doing Sagittarius and you'll see a little bit of that process so let's get started here we are back in the sacred space of creation. Super grateful for this session because I had a dear friend Shah come by and record some footage for me. So you'll see some of the amazing shots that she has captured. Let's dive right in. With all the zodiac archetypes, I wanted to really put my own spin on each idea and each concept. So for the Scorpio, since the scorpion has a stinger, I was like, wouldn't it be fun to make her nails really sharp? so that her nails could be a representation of the scorpion stinger. Next up is the fabric. This is by far one of my favorite aspects of the painting because I really like how it turned out and it just took me forever to make this. I was really trying to stretch myself and um, really go outside my comfort zone with making this unique and very intricately detailed and that is exactly how it turned out. Probably took about a solid week for me to um, create this design while still adding different elements to really make it look like fabric but still make it seem like the pattern is actually a part of the fabric and not just paste it on. I really wanted it to look 3D and a lot more realistic. So this was the process. I use this stencil as inspiration for the pattern. I really like how it incorporates a lot of French influences and it makes me think of the time when I went to New Orleans for the Golden Training Program. What I wanted to do was go back in and really up the contrast. So making the crevices in the fabric a lot more darker than the highlights. And the way that I did this was by using Golden's gloss medium. And what this does is make the paint a lot more translucent so that I can use it like a glaze. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. So what I'm doing here is taking that gloss medium and adding just a few drops of the titanium white and as you can see I added one too many drops. I specifically only wanted two drops because that's really all you need. You really want it to be a lot more translucent so that it's not too heavy of a white coat um, which pretty much defeats the whole purpose. So. This is me showing you here. This is how translucent it becomes when you mix it compared to 
the pure titanium white when it comes straight out the bottle. It's a lot more opaque. So I want the one on the right side, not the left. So now I'm going in with the damp sponge and hitting those high points so that the fabric looks even more realistic and really looks like it's bending and molding with her body. Next, I did the same process for the dark areas by mixing the black with the gloss medium and going in to make sure that those shadows were nice and dark. She's a vibe! These are all vibes. Right, <laughs> all right. It was so awesome having Shy in the studio. <laughs> Why can't I talk? <laughs> in the studio. Super grateful for her capturing these moments. She also has a YouTube page as well, so y'all should definitely check her out. And that link is in the bio. So now I'm moving on to Sagittarius, which now I realize is so perfect because Shy is a Sagittarius. So see? it was meant to be so i used these two yellows for the center um, i wanted the center point to be a lot lighter that's why i used the hansa yellow light and then around that i used the other one which was a little bit darker that was the yellow medium and from there i just continued to work it in but i want to take you a little back in time because before I applied the yellow, I made sure to go back in with the Quinn Magenta so that the outside rim could be a lot more darker because you all know I love me some contrast. So let me show you that process. Now that we have this beautiful fire halo for our Sagittarius, now we can start putting in the details. So this is one of my favorite parts, as you all know. This Sagittarius is gonna be perched in a tree, holding her hand out, summoning the people to come and join her in this adventure of optimism and fire and light and love. So here I am starting to create the background layers which is the tree that she's sitting in. This is one of my favorite color palettes to work with. You know, it sounds like everything's my favorite. <laughs> I just love art, obviously, everybody. I love everything about color, um, but I truly do love this color palette. I love the sunset colors where it's this, these pinks and these yellows and orange. What I decided to use was the Quinn Magenta for her shadows.
and then we go in for this vat orange which is serving as the medium tones and then of course you can see the yellows are her highlights and the whites are her really really highlights <laughs> is that a word? her real highlights her yeah This beauty is going to take a while, but the process has begun and stay tuned for how she is going to turn out. Well, I am happy to report that Scorpio is officially done. As you know, these paintings take time and effort and energy. So um, now she is officially done. It's been a few weeks now, actually, since I started uh, recording this, but I'm happy that she's finished. I'm super satisfied with the way that it turned out. There's still a lot more that needs to be done for uh, Sagittarius, but those layers have been made. And since this video is a little bit behind for the actual progress of Sagittarius, you can check my Instagram to see the most up-to-date version of what she looks like now. So I highly recommend that you follow me on the gram. So for now, thank you so much for watching this video and remember, if you liked it, like it, and I will see you all next time.